Hello, and welcome to a Brawl Box tutorial. I was uh, recommended to do Final Smash tutorial, but when I was gonna look up how to do that, I realized that I should do how to edit entrances first, because a lot of people don't play with items on, so entrances would be actually much more practical to edit, and especially since they don't actually change anything. So, I will be doing the Final Smash Troy right after this, but this is going to be nice. So, open up Brawlbox. I'm going to show you two different ways to edit a entrance. And one of the ways is just going to be basic, really just changing it a little. But the other way will be actually a more in-depth, cool way. So, I'll have these files in my description. And this is Mario's entry. And there's, it's just one pack file for the entry. So every texture of Mario will do the same thing. And so this first model is actually the tube that as Mario comes out of the pipe. So preview this. Make it nice and big. Because we want to be able to understand what we're going to be editing. So you can see it's got a nice pipe. And you'll notice that the inside the pack file is the animation for entry right and entry left. And that just depends on what player number you are. 4 and 3 are like right and 1 and 2 are left unless there's only two players. You know what I mean. So just check what it does. It just goes up and then down exactly like in the thing. Really basic, obviously. If you wanted to, you could play around with the bones. That's one way to edit it. And you would do that by just going here, seeing the animations. And there's only, you might want to go to a higher frame, like right here, so you can see the entire thing. And if you're uncomfortable with navigating in 3D space in Brawlbox, or previewing, or what bones are, check out my other tutorials on these matters. So you can see the top N is the whole thing. So maybe you want it to be uh, bigger, smaller, weirder. So when we play it goes big, small. Kind of a cool effect, I guess. That's one way to edit a Final Smash, because you did edit it. The second way, which is the easy way, is just to edit the texture. And I kind of, I'm going to do this for sure and put it in my game because his pipe's green, but if you ever played Mario, there's those red pipes, there's sometimes blue pipes, whatever, but you just can change it because Luigi and Mario are the same, maybe one different. Who cares? If you don't know how to export or edit, uh, texture files, check out my tutorial on that. And I'm just going to do this really quick because uh, this is not really a tutorial on how to edit textures. It's just trying to show you all the ways you could edit a final, an entrance, sorry. So instead of having it like this, maybe we want it one of those cool red pipes. Not gonna judge. I'll save as this thing. Okay. Okay. Now you can tell that it's changed. Back up here, right click on it, replace. This. Okay. So now when it pops up, it's gonna be red. That'll be pretty cool. So that's really the second way to change it. In my opinion, the easiest the least amount of work. Then, of course, other than editing the animation and the texture, would be replacing the model. Now this will require you to have other entrance files, and I'll upload, I'll give the link to uh, all the ones that I used in this tutorial, and then you can go to that web folder 
that I've mentioned in my other videos for some of the other ones. But note that a lot of uh, things that you might think would be an entrance, like Captain Falcon's Falcon Flyer or um, like Fox's R Wing, those are actually in his pack file because he uses them. I guess in other things, like in his final smash, Captain Falcon uses the Falcon Flyer. So those are not in his entry. But Samus's is, because she's got that teleporter. And it's oh so cool. Uh, so if you don't know how to replace and swap out models, I also have a tutorial on that. Please go check it out, because a lot of fun. Totally know how to do this stuff. Just export that, export the texture data, just because we can. Oops, I exported the wrong, not yet. I think I did. Oh. Export this, and export that. Then go over here, this is the tube, yes. And replace this with this, and replace this, that. So now, when he pops up, it will be Samus's little thing, but it will be Mario's um, animation. If you wanted to go full out and switch it, you could do that too. I don't really see the point. Could be cool. In fact, this might not work because maybe the bones are all off but it will still pop up and look kind of cool. Um, his entry animation is most likely in his motion pack, so if you wanted to edit Mario's motion when he's doing that, you'd have to copy over Samus's animation and all of that fun stuff. But what I'll do is I'll have a three-part demonstration showing you all three different ways I edited it. So one where he comes out when it's I've edited the animation, one where he comes out and it's red, and one where he comes out and it's like this with the Samus thing. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have got a better understanding of all the possible ways you can edit an entrance. Thanks for watching.